Okay, so we got the Brahmini blind snake that we caught at the Jensen Beach Mall. He was in the parking lot. So we, a um, lot of traffic there. So we caught him. We've got him in this bottle. See if my daughter can get him out. There he is. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. There he goes. There you got him. When you get him on the video, he's quick. He's quick. Oh my God. Let me get him. All right, here he is. You just gotta grab him because he'll. I'm he'll let him go. Oh, you gotta grab him. Yes. Don't pinch him hard, but just just enough to to keep him secure. Let me see him in the video. So we're here at our house. As you see, there's no traffic. We've there's probably two, well, uh, probably acre and a half, two acres here of land, and we're gonna release him over here uh, at our at our shed. So come on. This is my daughter, Brittany. I think this is a good spot for him. A guy on uh, Facebook, there's a, a wild snake discussion and learning page. I think that's the name of it. And they helped me to identify this guy. I've caught many of them. I just never knew what they were called. But thanks to that Facebook page, we were able to identify him. And one of the comments, one of the guys said, let him go near your house because... He eats, uh, what do you say, uh, ant larva and termite larva. So that's great. He, he, he's got a new home. He, we benefited him, and he's going to benefit us. And hopefully he, he does well here. So put him right here. I want to see his eyes. Uh, we're going to put him here. Yeah, put him right in the dirt. And watch, watch what happens. There he goes. And he's gone that quick. Also, yeah, we caught a African agama. And he is seemingly stressed out. You can tell by his dark coloration. Um, but we, we always catch these guys. And we bring them here to our home. We let them go. We like to sit on our back porch and watch them. We've got several males and females around here. Curly tail lizards. Uh, Nida knolls, a, a large variation of, of lizards that we've brought and relocated to our home. Um, and this is a new addition. We're actually going to let him go uh, where we let the other ones go in our front yard in the trees. So let's go there, Bash. All right. No, no, I am a dog. Can I let him go? No, Where do you want to put him at? Uh, put him down there and see where he runs. Well, he could run to the neighbor's and there's nowhere to hide there. We always let him go at these trees here. Yeah, because we can climb up them. Just put him there. See. They always do this. They're like, oh, I'm free. Just touch him. He there he went. He went to the other side. Let's see if I can find him. Watch out. Nope, it's the same one. Oh, let him go up. There he is under there. See if you can see him. He's right there. Yeah, hopefully he stays around. Maybe he'll uh, reproduce with some of the females around here. And there he goes.